talking about making a difference here at Faith Life Church. This body of believers has an assignment. We have grace. We have an anointing on this assignment. Now, there's a lot of assignments out there, but this is the one you're hooked up with. So I need to, you need to get this principle. What is the anointing on this, on this assignment here? You, it's faith, family, financial restoration. Okay, faith, family, financial restoration. Now, when you partner with Faith Life Church, guess what grace you step into? You step into that same anointing, that same grace. How many know when you come and worship God here at church, there's what I call a house anointing? When you step in here, you may have had problems that week, but you step into this, woo, you step into this anointing that's greater than you. Is that right? That's because you have stepped into the house anointing, the, the, the anointing on the assignment. And that grace, we have that grace on faith, family, and financial rate. That's our call. That's our mission. There's grace with that. Now, understand this. Uh, to answer that guy's email, he said, how come when I sow into faith life now, I have more response than I do when I sow into someone else's or sow someplace else? Well, to tell you the truth, everyone's not called. Okay, let me just, I'm just going to be real truthful. Every church in existence out there has not been called, unfortunately. Now, that means, now listen, when Jesus said, when Jesus said to Peter to come out of the boat, well, let me back up. You know, when Peter was in the boat, he saw Jesus walking on the water. He said, if that's really you, tell me to come out. See, he understood. He must have been taught how kingdom law operates. He knew in the natural realm he could not walk on water. But when he said, Jesus, if that's really you, tell me to come out, that meant that the anointing when he got the word of God and he acted on it, the kingdom anointing or the grace at that moment on the word of Jesus would carry him across the water. He really walked on the word of God, not water. So when the Lord calls an assignment, now we all have assignments and we all walk in grace. We all have grace for that assignment. But there are offices in the church. I didn't make this up. Jesus did. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, says Jesus himself called some as pastors, teachers, evangelists, prophets, you know, apostles, all those. All, those are offices. Now, I did not make that up. Jesus calls certain offices. You know, in the book of Revelation, he talks to individual churches. Jesus calls calls people for assignments. When he calls them, there is an anointing and a grace to propel and to finish that assignment. Are you with me? When you partner with your local church or whoever you're partnering with, you can partner with other people outside ministry, whoever you partner with, you step into that grace. Now, the Lord warned me one day. He said, listen, Gary, people are partnering with things they don't want to receive from. You partner with pornography. You begin to sow into things that are evil. You, you are partnering with them. You're partnering with them. So to answer this man's email, the, the point is, is that you want to partner always with passion, who you feel tied to. I always say it's like your husband and wife, you know. You didn't marry each other out of a mail order catalog. You felt drawn to each other. You're going to feel drawn here. You're going you're to feel something. I feel like this is my home. I feel connected here. God's going to pull you and draw you together. And it's going to touch your passion and your heart. And your gifts and assignment are going to complement the entire assignment of this office, this, this church. It's made up of many parts that have to work together to get the job done.